chicken shit!
also a really cool game. Escape from all food. Yeah, it's a factory. I like how you can make your own character though as well. Mm. Like I made my guy look like me. Really cool city. No, he's friendly. Well, no begging, no debt, no corporal strings attached. There's radios on this game too. Oh shit. That's the way to do biz, V. Throw the grenade back. You have to argue. You yeah, can choose what to I'm say right. as well. Always. Nice of you to notice. In a way, it's a bit like GTA, but first person. I think that's why I don't like it. Ah, I love this. I think how I get scared when it's city of endless opportunity. Yeah. Unity and brotherly hate. But if you got the cojones and you know how to use them. <laughs> Damn near anything. Unless you catch a bit. Cool how it's from set in the future. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? And the street will talk. The street will remember. It's a nice bite. You know, you can make heaps more eddies as a motivational speaker. <laughs> what a dig way. What now, Jack? What now? Now I go back. Find Misty. Something to make me feel alive again. I could have shot us up good back there. No two ways about it. Risks come with the job, Jack. Ducked in time to avoid death, sweeping sight again. Only right to celebrate. <laughs> Even though we get to do that lot. Don't forget to let Dex know we got his toy for us. Hey, Loel. I know that was pretty sad. Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trucks? And what about the Militech camp? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits you and Brick had shaken him. How do you hit my boy? You used the cloak in my car. Did it without Militech holding my hand. Didn't want to risk it. So how'd you get that cat Royce? I've got cybernetic eyes, that's why I can see. Only way I know that always works. Brute force. And my hands are cybernetic too. What about the deep benevolent heart? Still on the to-do list. I like how you can change the That's the only thing that would get you a chance at grabbing that chance. Mark will be waiting for you at Lincoln Bar. Good luck. Wait, what's that? You can scan things with your eyes as well. I think it's just fast travel. Yeah, this yeah, is the city. I like how it's 3D, you can actually see like where things are. Hmm. There's the legend. Have my own apartment as well. Hey, cool. I saved you from blue. It looks cool, eh? Can make it something? Well, thanks. <laughs> I think that was a call. Because I don't know if cars are going to come at me. Oh. 
my god. It's a bit hard to drive with this thing. Oh, what the? Look at that, an enemy. <laughs> Scans with the eye can pretty much do things to their mind as well. Can cause explosions and stuff. sorts of stuff because I'm not sure what all of it does yet. I know some things are like help often. Oh money. Oh whoa, I got like a thousand dollars from that. Nice. <laughs> I think this uh, club. Oh my god. I don't usually drive like this. Hmm. What the? Nice. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Let me choose. Sure. And I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find. Yeah, uh, I don't think this fits appropriately. Yeah. Wait, do you have to go on then? Yeah. No, don't pull this head on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Can you play Crash? Mm. Yeah. Maybe in, after this mission. No. It's okay. Well, there's two. Can you get another one? Right. I can't watch this. Yeah. I 
Find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, Input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Surprise there. I don't do small talk. Go find someone else. I have what it is. I have connections. Real killed out of control though. I mean, I'm still feeling that dragon tail bite. Why is everyone got it out for me? Forget it ain't real. Seen it all. And there's nothing holding you back. Your fantasy ain't even a I have a tiger, babe. So Look here. What can a horny girl like me do for a hungry guy like you? A little vanilla and sprinkles? Or kinkier? Wax. 
Maybe electrosex, zappies, power implant. I'm off the clock, hon. I have a tiger, babe. No problem. Hey. Get you something. What's on the menu? I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here? Who's asking? Big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture. Truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Since on? Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. This one's candy. Nothing's wrong. You'll really? Us. Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective. And trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew on my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best. And I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Curious. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know... Just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? 
In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yori Nobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. Wait, Neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this. Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. Fine, so no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. What else you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path. And so has his own designs on the corp. Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control of anything. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant, entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Okay. What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits. Jacking off to in those boxes. No. no don't cry. Would you? It can be a very useful it. tool. Good for analyzing sure. details, Jesus. human perception. Even boosted. It doesn't grasp. It's exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? 
Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors. It's top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Model this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? Thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that'd support additional scan work. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Look, I'm no BD virgin, but the raw stuff? Uncharted territory. Relax. I'll explain everything. It's less complicated than it sounds. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Gotta create your sensory profile first. A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue enviro. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Nah. -uh. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. We got something here. Should be perfect. 
Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Everybody, on the ground! I want to see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Uh, hey! Uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! You're alive and well. That was too much. Felt I could feel the guy's pain, his stress, his hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up. 